I suppose one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to in Tassie is I've been down there before, but I haven't been down there with the Off-Road Adventure Show. And if I know these guys, they're, they're gonna shake things up a bit. We're gonna have some heck, a real heck of an experience down there. Um, and just doing things differently, not just four wheel driving, but you know, getting out there and, and seeing the best parts of it in all different ways. Dave's our producer. I've known him for a few years now, actually. And um, what I like about Dave is he knows his stuff as well. He's a four wheel driver. Uh, he loves getting out there and you know most producers are just the blokes behind the camera They don't really read too much into the actual four-wheel drive side of things where Dave's different and um, that's what I like about him And he's not bad to have around a campfire too. So Mel and Gav, they're the uh, magicians behind the show. They cut everything together They've been doing it for a long time and um, my personal opinion is they're probably one of the best in the game I'd say they're, um, they're a good pair and they, uh, they work really well. It's awesome. One of the biggest differences with the Off-Road Adventure Show, especially this season, is we've got four presenters on board, um, and we're all just like a, like a family. We're, we're just a good bunch of friends. We love getting out bush, exploring the country together, and um, yeah, I, we're gonna have some laughs along the way, I can tell you that much. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be the first one to get bogged. Always seems to happen. And when there's no cameras on me, I don't get bogged at all. That's just how it works. Uh, so the last time I was in Tasmania, um, I was down there for a filming trip. I was down there for about two weeks and it rained the whole time. Um, I was living out of a wet swag, it was on the roof. We'd done the old Balfour track, which is a real uh, wet sort of track, and I'd done it with hailstones flying at me. Uh, and then we had breakages and things like that, so it was a really tough trip. Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, when I come back, I come back saying I'm never going back to Tassie again, but I've had a little bit of time to mull that one over, and I can't wait to get back down there, should be awesome. First breakage, I reckon Alicia's gonna have the first breakage. Um, she's pretty hard on the equipment, so, yeah, I'll, I'll have the tools out and ready for her. Probably one of the biggest things when you're on the road with, with a crew for such a long, long time is you're living in each other's pockets. Um, and that's something I've had to adapt to over the last few years. Been lucky enough, I've been doing it for probably seven years or so, but I'm not gonna lie, I do like a bit of my own personal time. So I think we've just gotta you know, fill, fill things out, take a bit of time out when we need it, but um, everyone's good friends, so I'm sure we'll get on fine. One of my biggest pet hates when I'm on the road would have to be not having coffee. I need a coffee first thing in the morning. Um, I can go the rest of the day without a cup of but if I don't get that first cup of coffee in the morning, look at everybody, the whole crew's not gonna like me. Who do I think is gonna snap it first out of the crew? Well, I think Dave. Dave will have to snap it first. He's the man, he's the man in the firing line. He's the one with all the pressure on him. Um, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes on these trips and he's the man that's gotta pull it all together. Um, you know, it's pretty easy for us presenters. We get to sit back and just look good on camera. We'll try to look good on camera. But, um, you know, when we're not getting the shots, Dave's the man that's got to cop it, and I reckon he's going to snap it first. I'll be there to have a laugh too. What do I know about food in Tassie? I know there's food down there. There's a lot of fresh produce. Um, you've got the abalones down there. And um, I think fresh produce down in Tassie, that's, that's, yeah, that's right at the top of the list when it comes to camp cooking, getting that fresh produce. The one thing that people don't realise about producing a TV show is the work that goes into it behind the scenes. Um, it always looks smiley and rosy on the camera, on, on, you know, when you're looking at the camera. But um, behind the scenes, you know, there's things like weather and just the time away um, and all the things that don't go according to plan isn't always as fun as it looks on camera. And I think people miss that. And, um, you know, you always have fun, but sometimes times get challenging. <laughs> so I keep looking down because we've got a dog here trying to make me play fetch with him. So um, Dash is his name, this is Alicia's dog. He's a Kelpie and uh, he's pretty full on. <laughs> here we go. Drive myself in one word. That's a bit of a hard one because I don't really like talking about myself. But um, I'd hope, well I'd like to think I'm genuine. That'd be the word. I'd like to think I'm a genuine sort of person. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Alicia? <laughs> Alicia's a slave driver. <laughs> the rest of the day without a cup of, but if I don't get that first cup of coffee in the morning, look out everybody, the whole crew's not going to like me. Between you and Jamie, we're going to have some cranky men. Oh yeah. <laughs>